welcome back. Um, this is my first video in a while. Um, so today I just wanted to talk about my latest build, which is um, something that was quite new for me. Um, and it's this right here. So these are typically known as a slurbo, or um, I believe the German word is Kulissenschnepper. Um, and you'll recognize, if you've seen my previous videos, you'll recognize the second part of that word, Schnepper, because this uh, crossbow type actually evolved directly uh, from the Schnepper. Um, so and they were pretty much almost contemporaneous with them. Anyway, um, this particular one is 18th century, and um, you'll notice that here we've got, unlike my previous crossbows, you'll see this is a regular, um, what we're used to saying as a shoulder stock, similar to modern rifles. Still got the cheek rest that you'll see on Schneppers and that. Um, <clears throat> so this crossbow in particular is really cool and interesting because it's kind of two crossbows in one. So in this configuration here, you can see it's actually got a top track. So we're used to seeing crossbows that, of course, have the, the track on the bottom, either a groove or a bolt rest at the front. But this one, actually, as you can see, has got the track on top as well. And the reason for that is because <clears throat> that will allow the crossbow to shoot ball ammunition, pellets. So that's half inch. So this is essentially like, you know, a Renaissance um, 50 caliber, if you will. So typically the ammunition that they would have used for this would be lead shot. So um, as usual in um, my crossbows, I've got a few modern variances from the original. So the main differences here, as usual, would be the prod. So this is a um, fully fiberglass prod and the draw weight is about 150 pounds. You can see as well, we've got a stirrup on the end. Normally this crossbow type like most, if not all, schneppers would have had just a simple ring or staple in the front, which was used for storage to suspend it. And it was also used as an anchor point for a spanning lever, sometimes called a gaff or a, or a whip, vip, in the German pronunciation. <clears throat> um, those are really the main differences. Um, everything else is pretty much exactly as it would have been made um, at the time. So I've got some... Uh, mother of pearl inlays here for decoration and then some pvc and abs plastic inlays here the furniture is all steel you can see the bottom there and um as is usual for this type the prod is bound in with hemp uh, cordage that i've also treated with um, melted beeswax just preserve it glue everything together and also um, uh, to repel moisture as well so I'm going to, um, now I'm going to essentially take off the top part and convert this into bolt shooting mode. So to do that, <clears throat> you basically just want to take out these two screws here and here. And I'm using screws with a hex key. So we're just going to go ahead and take those right out. So there it is. The hat, as I like to think of it. And now you can see the catch exactly like any schnepper that you would see in like the ones I've uh, made videos about before. And when you put the, uh, the string into the catch there, it pushes down and locks it. You'll also see here I've got two threaded inserts, and that is to receive the, uh, the bolts to bolt on um, the top track. Um, traditionally, it would have been just two wood screws going in there, but um, <clears throat> all my crossbows are made to be used. Um, this one's made to be used in the field um, for hunting, small game. Um, and so I want to make sure that with taking this off and back on again, that those holes don't get stripped out, um, particularly because it's such an important part for it to shoot accurately and properly um, using the ball ammunition. So hence, I've used the, uh, the threaded inserts there. Um, but in this configuration, um, we can now shoot bolts with it. Um, we always want to have a bolt clip if we're shooting bolts. So this simply screws in with a wood screw. <clears throat> Again, there's really very little stresses on this uh, particular component, and that's why I haven't used a threaded insert for it. So there's our bolt clip. And one other thing that I've included here is this. 
This is a rear sight, and this is a very typical design. And these really started popping up in German crossbows towards the end of the 16th century, beginning of the 17th century. And um, it was essentially a rear sight um, that you could mount on the crossbow and looking through it, you would line it up with the front end of the bolt um, to line up your shot. And you can see the two brass screws in the front there. Those can be loosened and that inner piece can be shifted left or right to adjust for windage and for aim and so on. So though this gets attached with uh, wood screws as well. Um, so there we are in, uh, in bolt shooting mode. Um, so why don't we go ahead and take this out and uh, give it a couple test shots so I can show you how it, uh, how it functions. So to cock this one, uh, all you want to do is pull the string up and at the top of the string when it meets the catch, you just want to push the string slightly down towards the bottom of the tiller and that'll lock it. And you'll hear that lock engage. Bullseye. So I've just converted it back into ball shooting mode. Um, so let's see how that works. So before I load the ball, I'm going to cock it. And we're going to drop the ball in the end. There it is.